You want to know something awesome? You and I could never know everything there is to know about God. He's limitless, which means there's always something extra to discover about Him. That's why scientists, astronomers, doctors and researchers are always discovering new things about His creation and the depths of the universe and the world around us. Like figuring out how something glows in the dark or discovering the blue super giant star we named Rigel or learning what makes a blunt hound such an excellent tracker. The universe is filled with so many things that proclaim how great our God is. It's fun for us to spend time exploring and learning about everything our God has made. The more we learn about what He has created, the more we learn about Him. He is the greatest scientist of all. Little scientists, welcome to Kids Church Online or right here with us at St. Mark's Church. We love having you here with us. It's always better when we're together. In the Bible, we read in the book of Ephesians 6 verse 10 to 11, Be strong in the Lord and His great power. Wear the full armor of God. Hey kids, do your parents have to wear a uniform when they go to work? Maybe if you're a police officer, or a doctor or a nurse, or a pilot, or even a football player. Did you know that if you're a Christian, God has a uniform that He wants you to put on? That's right, it's called the Armor of God, and it's a lot different than what a policeman or a doctor would wear. And that's because it's not actual physical armor. 
It's not like what people wear in movies or shows that protects from arrows or swords. It's six things that help us remember to do the right thing. Let's see what they are. First, the belt of truth. This is what holds the whole uniform together. It helps us know how we should act and treat others. When we're feeling grumpy and acting bad and trying to do the wrong thing, like being mean to other kids or disobeying our parents. Truth reminds us that instead we should be kind to others and do as our parents ask. Next, the body armor of righteousness. This is the piece of the uniform that goes over your chest. It protects your heart. Righteousness is just another word for living the way God wants you to. When we live in a way that God wants us to, it protects our heart from bad stuff. Number three, the shoes of peace. These are obviously for your feet. These help us remember that we don't have to earn God's love. So when life is hard and we don't feel very good about ourselves, we can have peace that God loves us no matter what. Next, the shield of faith. This is for holding up to protect ourselves. And it reminds us that we are saved by faith. So when we have bad thoughts and feelings that take us off track, our faith in Jesus will help protect us. Next, the helmet of salvation. This one goes on your head, of course, and helps you remember that Jesus saved you. Your head is super important, so it's super important to remember that Jesus saved you from your sins. You know, sin? All of that bad stuff that you've done? Jesus got rid of it, so you can live in heaven with him someday. Last, the sword of the spirit. This one you hold in your hand, and it's actually just another way to save the Bible. So when we think that we know better and we want to go out and do wrong, the Bible can remind us to do the right thing instead. See kids, these are all kind of pointing at the same thing. Memory verse. Be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. So kids, if you want the coolest armor ever, trust in Jesus. And put on the full armor of God every day. Did you know that there are dragons and dinosaurs in the Bible? Check this out from Job 41. Can you catch Leviathan on a fish hook? If you put one hand on him, you will never forget the battle. He has rows of shields on his back. Flames blaze from his mouth. The sword that hits him does not hurt him. The darts and spears, small and large, do not hurt him. He treats iron as if it were straw. He is a creature without fear. Some people try to say that Leviathan is just a crocodile. But that doesn't sound like a crocodile I've ever seen. Rather, the word dragon comes to mind. And then there's this in Job 40. Look at Behemoth. Look at the strength he has in his body. The muscles of his stomach are powerful. His tail extends like a cedar tree. The muscles of his thighs are woven together. His bones are like tubes of bronze metal. His legs are like bars of iron. Again, some people say that Behemoth is just an elephant. But have you ever seen an elephant with a tail like a cedar tree? God made some amazingly strong things. But the strongest thing is something he actually made just for you. It's called the armor of God. And it's stronger than even Leviathan's rows of shields. So what is armor? I'll tell you. It's something you can put on to protect yourself. Just like a soldier has a shield and a sword. This armor has a piece to cover every part of you, including your heart and your mind. With the power of God and his truth. It will protect you from the devil and his horrible lies. So like a knight dressing for battle, Put on your armor every day. How do we put on armor? By praying and reading the truth of His Word. Let's do that now. Dear Lord, 
thank you, God, for your armor of protection. Teach me how to put it on and wear it every day. Amen. Put the armor on, the armor of God. Put the armor on, the armor of God. When the enemy attacks, it's time to get real. It's time to put on metaphorical steel. The armor of God will help you in the fight. To win against sin, you gotta fight with God's might. You better suit up with the armor of God. A good fight. Bell of truth, the truth will set you free. Chest plate of righteousness, thwart the enemy. Boots of peace, stand on solid ground. Shield of faith, no attack will take you down. Helmet of salvation, reject the fabrication. Sword of the spirit, win the confrontation. It's the armor. You stand firm when you're down in the dumps with nowhere to turn. Look to your Bible to fight the devil's schemes. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 to 18. You better suit up with the armor of God. There's no need to hide with God on your side. Bell of truth, the truth will set you free. Today's epic tale shares the story of three egg soldiers who went off to battle. The first soldier was not prepared for the war. He wasn't even thinking about the battle and was focusing on less important things. So the enemy snuck up on him by surprise. When the enemy attacked... Smash! Let's just say it didn't go so well. The second soldier was very strong, so he didn't think he needed any help. He left his armor at home and went empty handed. When the enemy attacked, he charged full force. Splash! Didn't go so well for him either. But the third egg soldier knew that they were in a war and made sure to be on guard and prepare. He was armed for battle. He put on his armor. And when the enemy attacked, nothing's happening. His shield protected him. He was safe. Did you know that acid in your stomach is so powerful, it can melt metal? But an armour of mucus protects your stomach lining and keeps that acid in your tummy, where it belongs. So the acid breaks down only what it's supposed to. Whoa, that's incredible! So we've loved having you here with us, online or with us at St Mark's Church. Going and learning with you is such fun. We'll see you next week. Bye, little scientists.